I've lived in Marbella for over 35 years. I've been an agent here for over 10. I've driven on these streets over a thousand times. To come across something with this sheer size, location, views, amongst all these royal palaces is almost impossible to find. What's up everybody, it's Enes here and welcome to our last home tour in Marbella. Today we're checking out this amazing estate right behind me, which in my opinion is one of the coolest homes that is currently on the market in Spain. Main house is 1,589 square meters. We got a detached guest home that is 675 square meters. Entire property is situated on an 8,799 square meter lot. And the specs of this home, bedrooms, bathrooms, finishes, lower level with amenities, Mediterranean views throughout, we got a really special episode ahead of us. Now this home is currently listed for 40 million euros, exclusively listed with Sol Villa. So I wanna give them big thanks for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share the Marbella experience with all of you. And now let's begin our tour. We're gonna start our tour on the exterior. Driveway leads you to the detached guest home that we're gonna check out later in the tour. And the driveway is currently under construction right now. That's why we can't really show this side, but the house itself is pretty much finished. Smooth stock exterior, complemented with steel case doors and windows. We have the covered entry here and the front door right behind me. Let's go inside. Off of the entry, we have beautiful natural stone floors with the border detail all around, diamond patterns, and they also use the natural stone floors as baseboard detail as well with wallpaper throughout. And we have this door opening up to the first powder room on this side of the house with double vanity setup, stainless steel legs, beautiful warm wallpaper throughout with wall sconces. And we have the water closet here with a skylight above. And right next door, we actually have the second powder room. Now you may find it interesting that there are two powder rooms off of the entry. There's actually a really specific reason for that. And we'll understand why that is once we go to the room next door. Now, second powder room here, gorgeous vanity again with stainless steel legs, water closet here with a skylight above, beautiful details. And we have this opening here clad with marble and it takes you to this incredible grand salon. I think the reason why this home is a true one of a kind is not only the size and the location, I think it's the style and the feeling it creates. It feels like you're walking into a five-star hotel, but it's a home. We are used to touring incredible homes on our channel, and we have seen some just outstanding properties all around the world. But without a doubt, I think this grand salon here is one of the best. The scale here, the amount of different seating areas and the curated spaces is just mind boggling. This is gorgeous. Yeah, I can't imagine having a party or something here. It's like you need so many people to fill out the space, you know? I mean, I agree. It's over 400 square meters. It's just phenomenal. I guess let's start our tour here where we have this dining area, gorgeous marble table right in the center with marble legs, seats 10 people, chandelier above, complemented with the fireplace. And I personally really like the clad of the fireplace with this steel and wood clad on top, crown molding details throughout, gorgeous space, custom carpet, natural stone floors throughout. I mean, this is just one section of this amazing grand salon. We have the pocket doors here opening up to the kitchen that we're gonna see in a bit. And now I wanna take everybody this way. Now we have all these Jensen steel cased French doors opening up to the covered patio and then leading us to the backyard. The views are simply phenomenal. And right in the center of this room, we have the stairs taking us down to the sunken section of the Grand Salon. And I mean, look at this. We have four corner seating areas with built-in sofa that wraps the perimeter of the sunken area. 
marble coffee table right in the center, and right next door, we have additional seating with a little bit different furniture set up. I think the interior designer here did a phenomenal job with customization of the furniture, floors, textures throughout, property looks stunning. Now, right on the other side, we have additional seating with same style furnishings, and in the center of the sunken area, we have this built-in seating, and right on top, you have this gorgeous chandelier application. I think this is one of the most extravagant chandeliers we have ever seen on our channel with the brass details, bulbs, and I'm sure the installation of this chandelier was probably a nightmare. And lastly, of course, your steel cased French doors all opening up to the outdoors. You have a water feature off of the staircase here. Stunning, gorgeous. All right, let's go back up to this level because right across from us, we have the cocktail bar. Now every home with a grand salon like the one that we just toured would call for a bar, but they went above and beyond with some of its finishes here, two seating area, wallpaper throughout. I love these rustic art deco tiles on the floor with the diamond pattern. And you have your bar seating right in the center, dual elevation, marble countertops. And if you look behind the bar, you can see these open shelving details with stained mirror backsplash, brass inlays all around, staging looks gorgeous. And throughout the room, the energy, textures, wallpapers, everything looks stunning. And on top of that, they have disco lights and even a smoke machine in this cocktail bar. Now, let's take everybody back to the Grand Salon. Let's continue our tour from here. On our way to the left, we have an additional seating area here with a fireplace just like the other side, some built-ins, French doors opening up to the outdoors, and coming here, we have these double doors opening up to the left section of this house. Now on this wing, we have four bedrooms and a spacious seating area, which means you can close these double doors and have a little bit more of an intimate setting here if you like. Nice spacious landing, and I'm gonna start our tour with the first bedroom here really unique carpet on the floors that we're gonna see throughout the swing. King size bed, pop-up TV, super, super cozy room. You have some built-in closets here. Gorgeous setup, and again, details throughout the house with the ceiling patterns, recessed lights. Of course, this room comes with its own bathroom starting here. Now these natural stone floors transitions into the walk-in shower with the rain head, chrome fixtures, vanity set up here with two sinks. And again, I just love the color palette and textures in this house. Now coming back to the landing, we have this door opening up to the second bedroom king size bed, built-in closets. I love this wallpaper right behind the bed setup, which gives a lot of warmth to the space. Same carpet application, and around the corner, we have a full bathroom with two sinks and a walk-in shower. Now, around here, we have the third bedroom. Let's have a quick look. Off of the hallway, we have all these built-in closets, and this opening takes us to the bedroom itself. Each one of these bedrooms are so spacious. They all have their seating areas or their desk set up. Again, steel case windows throughout, opening up to side patios or balconies. And we have some built-in shelving here. They're still tying up some of the details and finishes in this house. They're working on their hardscaping. That's why we have some of these curtains lowered at the moment. This one also has an amazing bathroom. Let's go have a look. Freestanding vanity set up right in the center with two sinks. I love this vanity and ceiling mount mirror detail. And right next to that, we have a clawfoot tub, which gives you that nice rustic feel. And around the corner, of course, you have your walk-in shower with natural stone finishes, rain head, nicely steel case with this glass wall, and you have your water closet around the corner as well. Now, that's it for the three bedrooms and the landing of this wing. Now, I wanna take everybody back to the landing so we can continue our tour from there. But again, every bit of space in this house. Look at the ceilings here with the patterns, walls, wall sconces, staircase going down to the lower level and the second floor. We're gonna check those spaces out in a bit. Double doors open up. You have a nice spacious hallway here with some cabinetry. And there's actually a nice small sink set up here. This is your wet bar. Okay. Because you have a seating area here this door opens up to a gorgeous powder room with a fabricated sink. We have this door opening up to the fourth bedroom on this wing with its own full bathroom. And coming back here, we have these steel case doors opening up to the covered patio. And then hallway opens up to this comfortable seating area where we have this massive U-shaped couch. 
open shelving on the back with these brass wall sconces that lights up your bookshelves, some ceiling mount light fixtures, plaster details throughout, nice warm wallpaper. You have the same carpet application also here, pop-up TV right in front of you. It's a pop-up TV because this room gets phenomenal views of the Mediterranean Sea, just like the rest of the backyard and the property. Steel case doors open up to a little elevated balcony for this room. Gorgeous space, amazing room. And now I wanna take everybody back to the Grand Salon so we can go through these doors and check out the kitchen area. What I love about this space is the fact that it's really open, facing the backyard. You have two-tone cabinetry throughout, really nice island right in the center with this brass edge on the countertop. I love the grid details of the cabinetry. You have your sink, dishwasher here, chandelier above and the ceiling details that we've been seeing throughout. They have some of those lines and plaster details also here. Mikey, let's focus this way. You have a small wet bar area here with your glass racks. All these are your pantry spaces, paneled fridge and freezers. And come in here, we have one of those upper cabinet designs where you have open shelving inside. But if you want that clean, seamless look, you can actually close the door if you like. Pretty cool. Now, right next to that, we have the gas stove. Lacanche looks gorgeous, but this one actually has gas stoves on each side or gas burners. And right in the center, you have your induction cooktop with its own built-in vent and you have additional vent on top. I love this glazed tile design they have as a backsplash. And of course you have more base cabinets here. Another upper cabinet design, which is your coffee bar. I mean, it looks great. Again, island is right in the center. And since this is a kitchen area within such a spacious home, of course, they're gonna have an informal dining area in this room. I love this stone table that they have with regular chairs on one side and this long sofa on the other. Steel case French doors with a subtle curvature on top, referencing that Spanish architecture. I love that detail. And we have these doors opening up to an outdoor dining area, patio space up front, and this section goes to the covered patio. Now, that's not it for the kitchen because we have this hallway taking us to the room on the back. And as you go through, you have more cabinetry on the left, your wine cooler on the right, and this door opens up to the chef's kitchen. Now, this chef's kitchen is gorgeous. Steel case doors open up, and it is designed like a restaurant kitchen where you would leave it exposed, let your clients see it because it is gorgeous. We don't really have much of an upper cabinet here. You have wall cabinets on the left. Dishwasher here, sink, gas stove in the center with a commercial vent above, and your base cabinets continue on this side. We have a microwave, again, fridge and freezer, and I love that cabinetry goes all the way up to the ceiling. A lot of warmth, a lot of texture, a lot of beautiful finishes throughout. And lastly, Marble Island right in the center. Yeah, I like that they had this tile design with this black line dividing the stucco from the tile. Uh, I thought that was really cool looking. It's actually a really nice detail. And Mikey, if you follow the line all the way and go back to the entry of the chef's kitchen, that line continues on the paint as well. So they have this like nice two-tone pattern on the walls, which is super sleek. And off of the entry of the chef's kitchen, you actually have a dining area here. I'm assuming this is for the staff or this is where you prepare and lay some of the food. Chandelier above, another great space. And it gets better. We can get a closer look of the two-tone oh, yeah. color here. And we have this door. Ready for this? I know you're gonna like it. Go walk in, huh? Walk in fridge. That's uh, always a good detail to have. Absolutely. I mean, home this size calls for it. Now, let's go through this door to check out the mudroom. Now, you may ask why you have a mudroom. If you look at the door that's currently open, that's off the entry. That means you can come through that hallway, come here, leave your dirty shoes, jackets, whatever you have off of here. And even the mudroom, look at the details here wood paneling on the walls, patterned tiles on the floors, built-in seating, window treatments, just gorgeous. And come in here, we have this door opening up to the laundry room, where you have your washer, dryer, cabinetry, sink, everything you need, community located off of the entry. And coming back here, we have this staircase going down to the staff quarters, where we have four bedrooms, living room area, full bathrooms, everything you need. And I just love that even the staff quarters have same finishes and details like the rest of the home. So far, we covered the entire main floor. Next, we're going to the backyard. So 
so we're gonna start our tour here off of the kitchen. We have the first covered seating area, beautiful furniture, natural stone throughout, beam ceiling details, and right next to that we have the dining area. I love this custom table with the glazed tiles on top, chandelier above, nice cozy seating, and we have the steel case doors opening up from the grand salon to the outdoors. Now, coming to the center, we have this water feature, which I mentioned earlier when we were in the grand salon. And following the rest of the covered patio, we have an additional dining area and additional seating area. I mean, this is incredible. The scale, the amount of space and outdoor areas in this house is just mind boggling. Now, right in the center, we got this gorgeous walkway that takes us to the backyard. I love the elevation difference as we come down from the house to the pool area. Everything is nicely terraced, grass, landscaping, and right in the center of this backyard, we got this incredible pool clad with this Art Deco green tile, which looks so timeless. The whole pool setup here is so inviting. This is awesome. Yeah, there seems to be this kind of running green and bronze theme throughout the whole house. Uh, even these tiles have a slight little tinge of bronze to them. Honestly, I love that entire details or finishes are so tied together. You know, like even on the outdoors, they carry that same tiles and finishes that we saw at the bar, yeah. the bar area. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's continue our tour with the backyard. Lounging chairs throughout. This pool area here is so grand and so elegant. And the setup on our left is a bar that will soon be finished and it will really complement this pool area. We have an outdoor shower here. And in front of us, we have this beautiful grass section. I mean, the property is stunning. The land you get with the estate, your views. We have the Mediterranean Sea right in front of us. It's peaceful and tranquil up here. Look at our surroundings, Mike. I mean, this is gorgeous. Yeah, you have this wide open view corridor. It's uh, great. Absolutely. And I also want to mention this property is also available for short term rentals. And we will make sure to leave the link in the description for that as well. And Again, land here is amazing, property is stunning. It actually goes down all the way to the street level below us. And Mikey, can we turn the other side and talk about the house itself? It's essentially this single story ranch style Spanish home. We have the primary bedroom suite, entire primary bedroom suite on the second floor there, which we're gonna check out in a bit. I just love this kind of rustic, timeless look with red roof tiles. And when they were remodeling this home, I just love that they kept the integrity of the house with architectural lines, but yet complemented with new finishes like those steel cased French doors. It looks very modern, but yet timeless. Now, continuing our tour, we are on the other side of the pool setup here, gorgeous trees. And if you can point right there, Mikey, that's where we have the kitchen. And on one side, it has an additional outdoor dining area with a charcoal grill. I mean, this is stunning. I feel like we can stay another 10 minutes here, but I think we should kind of wrap up our tour, go inside so we can check out the lower level. Let's go check out the lower level. We're at the staircase, which is located on the left wing where we saw the family room and those four bedrooms right at the landing there. Staircase brings it down to the lower level. I just love the plaster details here with the wall sconces, colors, lettered marble threads. Gorgeous. I mean, finishes in this house are stunning. Now we have this door opening up to the bar area, but before we talk about the bar section, I actually want to bring everybody this way to check out the movie theater. Now this movie theater is different. It is quite steep and the elevation difference on each floor is quite radical, which really elevates your experience when it comes to looking at your screen and just watching a movie. I mean, look how much I covered as I came down to the lower section. This is phenomenal and the same chic design elements and features that we've been seeing throughout the house. They have it also here with the sofas, ottomans, palette throughout with the carpet, paneled walls, panel ceilings, wall sconces. I mean, it is gorgeous. Yeah, it's really nice. And when we were doing our initial walkthrough, we were told that the reason this movie theater is so steep is because it used to be a regular theater where they would have stage plays. So looking at it like that, it kind of makes sense um, with the screen and you know the little shelf they have here for the stage. And the elevation difference, it still serves a great purpose when it comes to watching a movie. Yeah. Great space, great space. And around the corner, I want to mention this hallway takes you to a cigar lounge that they have on this level. And if you follow the hallway soon, they will have a bowling alley, which is just another cool amenity to have for your entertainment space. Now, I want to take everybody back to the bar, which is this phenomenal space 
marble floors, marble countertops, you have your sink, open shelving, and since this is right next to your movie theater, you have your popcorn machine, candies, fridges, ice makers, everything you need, and that retro theme that we've been talking throughout, Art Deco. I mean, look at the ceilings here with the stained mirror detail. Looks gorgeous. Now we have this seamless door here, taking you to your entertainment room, game room. I like these simulator chairs. You have your TV on that side, wood clad details on the walls, your arcade machine on the back. And going through here, we have this door opening up to another hallway where we have the secondary staircase going down to the cigar lounge. This door opens up to a gorgeous powder bathroom with a fabricated sink. I love this rose gold inlay on the concrete floors. What a detail. And we have this door opening up to the massage room where we have the two-tone wall colors, these recessed in shelving details with LED lighting, very tranquil, very relaxing. Now, right next door, we have this door opening up to the gym, hardwood floors, built-ins on the left. I love this marble flooring detail all around the room, and they also use it as a baseboard. Again, textures, colors, details, your gym equipment, and you have French doors opening up to a side patio that we're gonna check out in a bit. Now, Mikey, let's take everybody this way. We have this door opening up to your indoor pool. Dark blue plaster, rounded edges. This pool setup here is heated and it's awesome. You have natural sun throughout. You get a ton of natural light coming in. Even the ceiling treatment here and the wall sconces. The color palette of this one, honestly, some of the design elements are truly stunning. Now, let's go this way. We have a cold plunge here. This hallway takes us to an open shower with a rain head and this door takes us to steam room. And even here, cement tiles, details, gorgeous. It's a green theme. Green theme, there you go, Mikey. Lounging chairs, and I wanna show this to everyone. You have this entry here, and this door actually takes you to the landing of the lower level. That way you have a direct access straight to your indoor pool area. We have this seamless door opening up to another shower and a water closet and vanity, all dedicated for the space. And coming back here, before we leave this section, I actually wanna take everybody outside. So, off of the lower level, we have this small patio space, multiple couches, ping pong table at the end. This is a great intimate outdoor space right next to your indoor pool where you can just go outside, relax, get some fresh air. And before we leave this section, I wanna mention right around the corner, we have a detached 675 square meter, five bedroom guest house. Let's go have a quick look. It starts right here, steel case door opens up to the landing. Even the guest house is so impressive. The bedroom is here, the scale. In fact, let's go have a look. We have this hallway going into two bedroom suites. Let's go check out the first one on the left. Built-in closets here. You wanna have a look at the bathroom first? Let's see it. Let's do it. I mean, gorgeous warm finishes, natural stone, glazed tile in the shower with rain head, water closet, these vanities with the fabricated countertops, hidden drains, so timeless, so elegant, and I'm just so impressed with this house overall. Look at this bedroom, so cozy. It looks like a, a chic hotel room in Saint Tropez or like somewhere in Mediterranean, you know? Yeah, I mean, this is uh, Marbella. So we are in Mediterranean. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess that was a weird way for me to say it. Yeah. But uh, king size bed, even your bed frames are kind of wrapped in different patterns. Gorgeous steel case door opening up to a small balcony facing your driveway. You also have these automatic shades here for that full blackout effect. And going back to the uh, hallway for these two bedrooms, we have the second one start right here. Same finishes, built-in closets, and I mean, another gorgeous bathroom with a skylight, walk-in shower with glazed tiles, vanity with fabricated countertops, gorgeous bathroom. And around the corner, we have the bedroom itself king size bed. I just love this material they collide the headboard with. Contrasts nicely with the stucco walls. Same carpet design that we saw in the main estate. They have it also here. Steel case doors opening up to another balcony. Just beautiful, beautiful finishes. In fact, we have the third bedroom around the corner. I wanna briefly show that to everyone so we cover everything on this floor. It starts here. This room is so spacious. They have two king size beds there, which is kind of hard to believe, but they have it. It's the guest house and it's so grand and elegant. Now, right next door, we have the powder room off of the landing, beautiful finishes, fabricated sink. And coming back here, we have this opening, taking us to the living room, dining, and kitchen area. 
it's all open and connected. You have the living room area on your left with an L-shaped couch with its own private balcony, another pop-up TV, warm finishes, and right in the middle, we have the dining area, chandelier application, steel case windows facing the mountain views, gorgeous space, and come in here, you have a small kitchenette with your sink, dishwasher, induction cooktop, these great details that we've also been seeing throughout the property, they have it here, and lastly, we have this door opening up to another patio space facing the back of the property. I mean, the amount of interior square footage, outdoor areas and patios they have throughout this property is just kind of mind boggling. So, so far, we covered the lower level, main floor and the backyard. What's left is the second floor of the main estate. All right, here we are on the second floor. We finally made it here. A lot of walking in this house. I mean, it's a pretty big estate. It's very big. Uh, it's probably not gonna come off on camera as big as it should, but we've done a lot of walking today. A lot of walking today. I hope the whole video kind of patched well. And right now we're on the second floor landing, all dedicated to the primary bedroom suite. Same plaster details that we've been seeing throughout. They have it here. This seamless door takes you to a hallway. We have the water closet here and this opening takes you to the primary bathroom. I feel like I said natural stone 200 times today because every bit of surface is clad with some sort of materials in this house and we have it also here on the floors with a diamond pattern. Then you have the border detail all around, your vanity with the wood grits and nice fabrication on top with two sinks, chrome fixtures. Your recessed in mirror here with the copper edging and in this inlay that is so tasteful. And they have the same copper inlay and the stucco walls as well. I don't think we've ever seen this detail before on our channel. And around the corner, we got a gorgeous walk-in shower, natural stones going in. You have marble on the walls with a leathered finish. This polished rain head, handheld, just gorgeous. Now coming back here, we have this freestanding cast iron tub. You have your wall sconce on the left, kind of positioned above the tub setup here, but more importantly, this entire section has a glass roof and a steel cased French door opening up to the balcony for the primary bedroom. These are great. You have the Mediterranean Sea right in front of you. You can look down on your pool area. And I feel like although the rooms and the bathrooms in this house are very grand and uh, oversized, they feel very warm and elegant. And I think it has to do with the textures and finishes that we've been seeing throughout. Now we have this hallway here. Even the door panels are nicely covered with these uh, wallpaper cloth finishes. And we have this opening taking us to the primary bedroom closet. Everything is nicely paneled. We have the mirror cabinet on the other side so you can get dressed, look at yourself before you leave. And something about the cabinetry here, built-ins, even the ceilings are following the curved cabinetry. Just gorgeous. Now, what's left is the primary bedroom itself. These pocket doors open up and we have the room right in front of us. King size bed, pop-up TV, seating area up front. And on the left, we have the desk with some built-in shelves. And I just love that they use the wallpaper throughout the room, even behind the bookshelf. And Mikey, if you focus this way, look at this. They even have it as a comforter. I mean, talking about tying the details and unifying the room. This is just amazing. Yeah, this is like a very like, uh, handcrafted boutique experience, I feel like. In LA, a lot of moderns, you know. A lot of like same colors and like, yeah. you know, just kind of like blank a of, finishes. A lot of white, a lot of like, yeah. This is a totally unique thing. We're not used to saying it. Absolutely, so curated. I love it. I love that each space feels very cozy, very uh, timeless. And we have this steel door opening the primary bedroom to the balcony. Views are just so great. Again, so peaceful, so tranquil up here. Weather is great. You have this balcony with a little table set up and your lounging chairs. I mean, this is the lifestyle. Mikey, can we come to the edge? Look at your backyard. Look how inviting it looks. It's gorgeous out here. I see why people are so hyped up about Marbella and why Marbella is so much in demand. Now, normally at this point, we'll show you guys the night montage or the night shots of this home. But this is actually our last shoot here in Marbella and Solvilla family decided to throw us a going away party, which we're really excited about and we're kind of, we don't know what to expect. So let's fast forward a few more hours so you guys can come and join our going away party and we can see this place at dusk. We really love what we do and we really enjoy it. And we love being friends with our clients. 
And if we can get our sales team and whole team involved in the production of this home, we put our heads together and we tried to create something truly special. Through this channel, we've been fortunate enough to travel all around the world to tour some of the most luxurious assets that money can buy. Although these tours are a significant part of our journey, what really defines these trips are the people that we get to work with. As much as we were impressed with the city of Marbella and the country of Spain, the thing that will leave a lasting impact on us is the hospitality and the graciousness of the entire Sevilla team and the locals that we got to interact and share a moment with. All right, everyone, it's 10 p.m. right now and party is going great. Everybody's having a great time. We got good food, good music. And although this home is great, I think what makes Marbella so special is the people and the culture here. I want to give big thanks to Sol Villa family for allowing us to tour their amazing listings and share it with all of you. And as always, you can find more information about this property in the description of this video. So make sure to check that out. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week. Thank you.